they might as well be revolving doors. They keep out the general public, but the same Indiana families, generation after generation, keep passing through them. Like Annie Allen and her daughter, Stephanie Meadway. Okay, some people just look at me and laugh and I'll just stare my head. It's like, no problem. There's Mary and her son, Dwayne. Together, they've spent the past year in this courtroom trying to deal with Dwayne's difficult problems. I'm not a bad mother. I'm not. And there's Pashala Thomas, who's trying to break both a habit and the cycle for her daughter. Well, I feel like this. I'm where I'm supposed to be in my life, in my sobriety, and my daughter is in a good place. You'll also meet 13-year-old Connie, whose violent episodes keep her away from home for almost a year. Um, she would threaten to get her own way, to get what she wanted. And we'll follow Joshua, another 13-year-old, paying a high price for his behavior. And I knew that I wanted to say he shouldn't be back in the home, but I didn't know if I was going to be able to. You'll see anger. Look at this court, man. This is crazy stuff, man. And despair. Just hug him. Tell him I love him. Tell him I'm sorry. We'll introduce you to three judges who must sit as Solomon and every day decide what happens to these families. If the state is going to be involved in someone's life, then there must be a compelling reason for it to happen. And I am the one who has to make the final decision.